a YouTube video. Now, in this video is gonna be a short video. Uh, I'm just getting straight to the point. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers that's out there probably doing the same thing while I'm doing right now. Make this video. Um, anyway, there's a new relic minigun coming around the corner. Shock Radio already showed it off. I'm sure JB Ryder has as well, and a few other YouTubers at the same time. Now, they're saying they don't know what the recipes are. But I got a rough idea of what you guys can think of is the recipes. Now, I'm sure by now you guys already know what the recipes are going to be. At least off the back. Now, in the further months that goes by, that's going to be random. So, let's just get to the point to what I'm saying. So, they're doing this thing like the Helicons. At least I was shown them. So you got the Omorori and the Heather. So the Omorori, it's a regular primary crafting recipe you need for the Helicons. Now the Heather, um, that swaps out back and forth for the Beholder every other month. So what I'm saying is how they're picturing it, the Thyrus. Now this ain't 100% true, but it's what I've seen as a picture. And I'm going to show you guys as well. Now, the Thyrus looks like the main priority for the main crafting recipe. And then, for the secondary recipe, is the Athena and something else. The second part of it, I have no clue. But Athena and Thyrus is guaranteed. And the crafting recipe for the resources is going to be the same thing like the Helicons. Now, it says you need two of each, just like it shows right here. For the helicons, so I'm gonna show you guys the pictures now. So, you got you saw the pictures. Here's a perk of the Relic Minigun. Now, basically, before I go through it, I made a verity that might be what they're talking about. So, I got two Reapers with incendiary rounds and a Miller with the explosive rounds. So, and there's no coolers, nothing like that on the build. So, here's all the stuff for it. There's only the three guns. Odin, Cab, Hot Red Engine ammo, levers, etc. So, um, and I'm just going to read the perk out, to be fair, and tell you guys my honest opinion about it. And if you guys look at the picture of the gun itself, you can kind of tell what's going to be incendiary and explosive by the barrel. Um, incendiary looks like it's the top barrel, explosive looks like the bottom, if not vice versa, but not really what it matter. In my theory. Um, anyway, the new relic weapon, the Devour minigun. Um, the perk allows the minigun to release a burst of cooling, armor piercing, and explosive projectiles. It really devours the enemy's durability. So, I'm gonna take a wild guess. Now, this ain't true. This is me guessing. They're the, gonna take these two guns into as one which that's all right but the cooling process how it sounds like you might need a cooler is how it's sounding like so it's going to be kind of based off of the miller in a long story so and that being said since the miller needs a cooler and a radiator to even really fire a long period of time like this so this might be a little bit better testing so something like that I'm sure of they're talking about but the cooling process I'm not sure that sounds like a ammo verity so I don't know about that. So we're just running like this as well. So you guys got an even better idea what new machine gun is going to be doing to your builds. Uh, 
And the weight for the Reapers is... Okay, that's a little lighter. So, the original weight is 600 mass. And for the Miller is 565. So... I want to say the new Relic Machine Gun is going to be between 750 or 1,000 mass due to the size. Um, it is a 4-link, just like this is. So, durability. Um, durability didn't change on that. 520. So, if it's going to be about 750, it's going to be about 620, six seventy five durability something like that i believe but anyway that's what i'm thinking i'm not 100 sure um i want to get you guys opinion on it and like i said i already showed you pictures and yeah that's all i got in this short video for you guys and my honest opinion what they might be doing to the new weapon once it's fully released now when is it going to be released i am my well prediction is next big season so about three months for now four months for now something like that if not and again it might be this next mini season that's in two weeks less than two weeks so and it said this upcoming july so who knows um and that's why i got in this video just rough ideas um, what they plan on doing with the gun potentially and potentially crafting recipes. Um, other than that, that's all I got. That's all the proof I have. And I thought I'd be helpful sharing it with you guys. Um, again, like I said, kind of figured that everyone really, probably knew the recipes. And if it's, it's a thyrus, right now is the best time to get the thyrus. So, yeah. On that note, guys, have a good day. Have a good night. Take it easy. See you guys in the next video. See ya.